many people are, are left wondering as to the reasons uh, why President uh, Goodluck uh, Jonathan uh, did what he did. Uh, any any uh, you know guesses from your side? Is this a political move? Has it got to do with the fact that the person was not performing? What is really behind this decision? There's been a long-standing attempt to remove Ms. Bola Onogorua from the BP. After President Jonathan's elections uh, and um, swearing in in May last year, the first thing done at the National Assembly, even before the principal officers or the committee chairs in the National Assembly were selected, the first activity of the National Assembly was to probe the BP. And one of the decisions of that exercise was to recommend the removal of Ms. Onogoro. The Senate of Nigeria recommended her removal. It, it, unfairly, in my view, because many of the complaints they had were things that had done long before she was appointed DG of, of, of the BPE. So I think it's mostly political. There are major power groups in the country who would like to control the BPE. It's a strategic institution. It carries a lot of weight in palm power in terms of divestment of public assets. And Ms. Onoru Guru has tended to be a quiet, efficient, I think, honest public officer. Now, Mr. Akbaji, who is likely to replace um, uh, the uh, person that uh, the president has just removed, given the fact that it appears to be quite a powerful position that carries quite a lot of political clout? Well, the, the government asked the highest um, officer at the department, a director, Mr. Ben Dickey, to take over, but made it clear he was on a temporary basis. Ben Dickey, in any event, as my information reveals, is due for retirement. And so we are likely to have a substantive appointment in the days ahead or weeks ahead, rather than asking I suspect Mr. Dickey to continue. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the the key objective of the uh, uh, you know bureau was to initiate greater efficiency to get profitability going. But we've seen that attempts at this have not necessarily yielded the kind of dividend that was initially envisaged. What is the the main reasons why the bureau is not uh, you know doing particularly well? Well, the, from the technical point of view, and as all any interaction you have with BPA will show, the bureau is very sound technically. It's a very professional organization. The problem has been political interference, especially in the um, eight years after democracy, um, when we had quarrels between the president, then Obasanjo, and his vice, then Atiku. Constitutionally, Atiku was supposed to be in charge of the vice president supervises the BPE, but then because it was, uh, there was this dispute between the two of them, the president often overruled the NCP and the BPE. Uh, see, I think that the problem people have now with the, the lady who's just been fired is that I think she's just a technical officer, very efficient, very focused on her work. She's not political, doesn't have too much political covering, and therefore she's been vulnerable to power groups who seek okay. to control the group. All right. I think BP's problem is, is political okay. rather than technical. M Mr. Akbaji, we're unfortunately running out of time.